uh, as Marty mentioned, uh, Pone Fa'amusili uh, um, tweaked his calf again um, last week um, in, you know, in training, and so uh, he's not touring. Uh, and we'll leave him at home to have a decent off-season and try and get that right. Uh, he's had ongoing issues around calf and hamstring, so um, so he won't be touring, and um, Marika Kurebeti also won't be touring uh, for family reasons. Have you replaced them, Dave? No. Um, well, we think we've got enough numbers here in Japan. Um, so, so we'll, we'll work that out um, once we get to the UK. Obviously a, a sensitive uh, issue and it's family reasons, Dave, but um, are you able to divulge any, any more on yeah, Marika's situation? Is, is, is all well with the family? What, 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 and how, when did you find out that um, he wouldn't be able to come with you? Oh, we've been discussing it for a while. Obviously we let him go home a week early uh, during the rugby championship. Um, you know, look, um, COVID, um, you know, COVID's thrown a lot of curveballs at all of us. Um, obviously, Marika's been away from home a long, long time. Emma's pretty isolated down there. Um, they've had a newborn baby. They've got a couple of other young boys. and um, So, you know, based on on uh, those situations, Marika's chosen not to tour. Obviously, that's a position you've got plenty of depth in. And then, like, moving forward, obviously, he's... Uh... Yeah, not not playing Super Rugby, so it might be a situation you have to get used to. I suppose is it is it a matter of you just look to the guys who you would have been looking to next year to step up anyway? Yeah, as, as always, it's an opportunity, isn't it? Um, America didn't play the last game. Uh, Geordie got a start. Um, it gave Tom Wright a sniff um, off the bench. He played really well. So yeah, no, it is a position we've got a bit of depth in. You know, like America's uh, an unbelievable player, massive work ethic and and physicality, and so um, big shoes to fill, but, you know, we, we've got good depth here. Previously, you've mentioned uh, Luke Morahan as one of the overseas players you've been keeping an eye on. Has this um, increased the likelihood or chance that you might call on him when you get to the UK? Yeah, yeah possibly. Uh, yeah, obviously, we're watching him. Uh, as we've been looking at lots of players around the globe, so... Um, well, we'll see how we come out of this tour. You know, we've... We've made a real commitment to the guys we left behind to go straight on leave and to come back in in November to have a decent off season, and uh, you know we're we're very focused on maintaining that. So um, yeah, which will mean we 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 won't look back at home to try and bring someone over. Just on, you mentioned um, before you guys head over that you're still working out with Japanese clubs about the availability of the likes of Quaid, Sean McMahon, and Samu. Um, do you have an update on their availability for this week? Um, well, I, mean, I, I think I might have mentioned already, but Sean, Sean isn't available uh, for this game. Um, so immediately after we played Gold Coast, he came home, spent time with family. Uh, so he's outside our bubble. Um, obviously, Samu uh, got an. Um, a syndesmosis injury uh, in the last game, and so you know, obviously, we'll um, I guess test that over the coming days to, to get clarity on whether he's available this week, anyway. Um, so yeah, and obviously, from a, a club perspective, we've been talking to both clubs, uh, and the relationship side of it's key for us. With some, is it more likely he'll be available for when you guys head to Europe, or is it just kind of we're out sort of a wait and see process of how he goes over the next couple of days? Yeah, like we're trying to give him every opportunity to be right for this game. Just on the um, club situation, is it just this game that there's question mark Dave around um, whether they get released from their clubs? Or they the, the next three tests fall under the um, the test window thing. There just seems really con confusion out. Yeah, Sorry, um, the public sphere. yeah. Like technically, from a, a Reg Nine perspective, um, you know, players have to be released uh, for national duty, and so so that includes Scotland, England, and and Wales uh, for us. Um, but you know, we're also conscious that uh, you know we want to uh, build a strong relationship with the club, so we're talking through that at the moment. 
Uh, can I ask, going into this this week, how much do you balance like playing guys? I was going to mention Pone as one, but he's not with you. As guys like Pone who haven't played at all or played very few minutes, with using this as a using this as a good lead up um, for three very tough tests in Europe, no, with no disrespect to Japan at the same time. Yeah, look, we'll, we'll put in the best side available. Okay. Um, I suppose when, when, you, when you're looking at um, your options there at the moment, um, at, at Tanny is still thinking, you know, and give you away your team, I'm sure, but how do you balance sort of getting James back into the mix with um, rewarding Quaid for what's been a really good comeback so far? Yeah, look, they've, um, they've tag teamed at the last couple of tests and, and that's likely to, to happen again. Um, yeah, I look, we're, uh, we're fortunate we've got a couple of very experienced teams in the mix and uh, their contribution on field at training and that's been great. So, um, yeah, I look, we'll, um, in the end, we're going to reward who we think is doing the best job and, and, and suits this fixture. And uh, so that person will get to start. But as we know, 23 is crucial. Um, so, you know, we'll, uh, everyone plays reasonable minutes nowadays. And uh, so one of those guys will get their opportunity off the bench. Just, just on Japan, like they play a very sort of high tempo, entertaining style, I suppose, similar to how we like to play, how the All Blacks like to play. Um, what challenges that present compared to what you face against South Africa, Argentina, and what you're likely face in Europe? Yeah, yeah, completely different. Um, yeah, you're right. Uh, they play very much a high speed, high skill type of game. And no surprise with Jamie and um, Tony in the mix. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, we're well aware of that. We're going to have to, uh, you know, do a good job around the, the quality of our defence and slowing their ball down to get a wall in front of them. Um, you know, so you know, look, we've got a plan around how we need to play against these guys. Um, they'll, they'll also kick a bit, um, you know, and we'll need to as well. So like, it should be a belter. Um, you know, we're playing in a stadium that has a roof, so, you know, we should get a fast track and... Uh, two sides that both want to play. Hey, can hey, if Samu's not um, if Samu's not fit, sorry, Nate. If Samu's not fit, is it um, safe to assume Hunter's the next up the line? And is he ready to to play big minutes? You know, he hasn't played obviously footy for um, a couple of months now. Um, yeah, look, all, all the squatter and good neck. Um, so, so, so yeah, Hunter, Hunter's in good neck. He um, He's worked hard, uh, in, in, and while guys may not uh, be playing minutes in the weekend, they're working really hard during the week. Uh, they're getting a lot of ball in their hand, and um, so you know, we, had a, we had a big session yesterday, double day, uh, pretty pretty warm conditions. Um, uh, so the, the boys were excellent. Uh, attitude's been great since we've been here, and we had a pretty long haul. It was about a thirty-hour uh, trip over here, and uh, so the good, good men. Uh, there's no complaining. Uh, we just got on with things and, you know, spent three and a half hours at, at the airport trying to get through from a COVID perspective. And, um, but we've, we've settled in really well. So, uh, yeah, so I, we have no issues with Hunter around his conditioning or his skill set. I was going to say, with um, saying it's Japan in their full-strength squad, does that show how, how far they've come over the past five years, especially after sort of leaping into the scene through that 2019 World Cup? Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, I mean, look, they're an excellent side. Um, and, you know, they've got really good detail around the game, um, really good skill set, you know, um, uh, very good around generating quick balls so the quality of their carry and clean. Um, yeah, so look, look, they are a genuine threat. And, um, you know, we're treating it as that it's, they're, they're a different beast to what we're going to face over in Europe in regard to how they're going to play. But, uh, you know, that's great from our perspective. Uh, an opportunity to learn uh, again over the next four tests. And, um, yeah, it's a big challenge over here. There's a bit of talk in the last few days that the attack has become, um, I suppose, quite reliant and focused on, on Samu. First of all, do you feel like that's, that's fair? criticism and, and second second of all we, if you don't have him against japan would you change the way that i suppose you operate in terms of you can hunter play that same role i suppose he's he is a guy who 
can crash and bash and can throw the footy around. How do you sort of see that dynamic playing out if you don't have some at your disposal? Oh, there's no doubt some has been excellent. Um, but he hasn't been our only source of go forward. You know, we've... Um, We've had guys like um, Rob Valentini carrying a lot of ball for us to, to create go forward. And, um, you know, like I guess over the last few weeks, we've been very direct too. So a lot of our big men carrying to try and give us yardage and create go forward. And uh, what we know, if, if it was Hunter that replaced him, um, you know, he'd started every test uh, bar one um, prior to being unavailable with the birth of his daughter. So we've got a lot of confidence in him. and. And, you know, with Quaid at 10, a very experienced 10, it'd be good for those young men outside him. Uh, we've seen um, Lenny Cattell really grow over the past few months and and expect him to keep doing that. So, like, it's a great opportunity, isn't it? If uh, somebody doesn't play, um, you know, someone has to step up. That's, that's what we've seen constantly uh, from other players throughout the, um, the last few months.